Hey guys, this video is gonna be one of the coolest and one of the interesting website builder service you could. So actually this video uh, will be observing video, a little bit tutorial video, uh, how to make a cool landing page or a website just in 20 minutes. So this video is gonna be cool for noses and for the people who uh, actually don't have any time to uh, create a cool uh, website page. So, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. Uh, as usual, I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your shares, and all the useful links will be in the description part. And right now, we will start our journey with you kids. Well, um, your kid is a website builder which is used to launch and manage small businesses, websites, and other types of projects for personal and commercial use. So, the system has gained worldwide popularity due to its amazing simplicity that does not compromise with quality and professional web design approach. So, this is an indispensable solution for new buyers and web design pros willing to establish professional web presence for their businesses. So, actually, this website builder uh, will work great for all the representatives of small and medium businesses who lack web design experience and don't wish to pay enormous sums of money to web studios. And you don't have to master your programming uh, basics to work with a UK because the system, to be honest, is very simple, flexible, and it completes around 80% of work on its own. So there are no layout designs, style charts, Photoshop, and other daily issues most web developers encounter over here yet. So frequent updates make the service more convenient and functional. Of course, first of all, you need to register an account. You uh, have the opportunity to make it. Uh, with Google, for example, or Facebook or LinkedIn, if you have these social accounts. Yep. After verifying your uh, actually um, account uh, in your email address, you will be directed just directly to UK service, where just here you will observe full templates uh, as we see them right here. And first of all, talking about these templates, they are uh, amazing to be honest because they have high quality. Um, I would say uh, pictures, backgrounds, yep, yeah, it's very interesting to work with them. And of course, first of all, uh, if you would like to uh, make a website or a landing page for a specific area, on uh, the left side you have many cool types of what actually you need to Themes, I would say, um, music, nail, design, software, sport, task, VR, artist, even if you, uh, for that theme that you need to create your personal landing page. Let's start from uh, a preview as usual. So we will click a preview. Actually, uh, this is, so let me see. Okay, this is a landing page, as I see. Okay, and uh, working with the landing page is very easy, to be honest. It's not, uh, you may create a landing page, to be honest, in 10, 20 minutes. Um, it's, by talking about a website, it's a little bit difficult because uh, on the website, you have many pages, you have many sections, so basically you need to make all the pages um, good. I mean, and design and other widgets. So today we will talk uh, about a landing page. So here we have, uh, first of all, what I adore, uh, adaptive design. So first of all, that it shows us how it, uh, this template will look like uh, on the tablet version. Yeah, uh, it has two modes, uh, horizontal, vertically mode. Yeah, so you can observe, chat how it works. And it's very uh, useful, I would say. Yeah, because you need to see it in the future, how it will look like. Yeah, so it gives you the opportunity just to look um, in the future with this <laughs> adaptive design, I would say. Yeah, so basically you may play around with all of this stuff. Yeah, this is for smartphone devices. And for me, it's really nice that you have the opportunity to change actually um, a design, the whole design. Uh, color palette, I would say the structure. Uh, so for me, okay, orange is cool, nice. So let's start with uh, this design. Uh, by the way, you need to put a domain name. It puts randomly, but uh, I usually put domain name after actually designing process. So uh, if you are finished with your designing process, so you may go back to the tab and put your domain name. Yep, and continue. So um, actually you kid what it's 
good for. Yeah, uh, I can say that Vukit is contemporary, convenient, and simple website builder, which initially targets small and mid-sized business owners. Yep, um, its feature set um, is powerful to come up to the needs of each user who has an intention to start and effectively manage professional projects. So what matters most is that the website builder does not require any coding and web design skills to run quality projects. And I guess for me, this is the major thing right here. Yep. So basically everyone can master its intuitive visual interface to be able to design projects out of ready-made widgets and content blocks, of course. Um, um, the website builder comes with an extensive collection of responsive, fully customizable designs tailor-made for specific commercial and non-commercial needs. So due to the integrated drag and drop functionality, because here we have drag and drop editor, it's possible to start projects of any complexity level without any coding proficiency at all. So these are only some of the most obvious reasons why the platform enjoys popularity with entrepreneurs. Yep. Creative students, artists, bloggers, photographers, uh, tattoo artists, models, stylists, and other users. So it's very uh, simple to work with this platform. And that's why I decided to make uh, a range of uh, video episodes about YouTube service. So um, let's talk right now about the editor. Basically, uh, right here we have a landing page. We can check how many sections here we got. Yep, so basically they are first section one two um three uh, four uh four five sections no four sections five the footer is the last one so basically uh our landing page consists of five sections it's not a website this is a landing page and i would like to remember you the landing page consists of uh, actually sections of blocks yeah i mean not the pages and right here actually these are the main tools so basically one two three four we got but actually for me it's free because the last one it shows us the adaptive design so basically we may play around with the desktop version we may play around right here with the tablet version and to look how it will be on mobile version and just play around with all these elements um as you imagine it as you want yep so let's talk a little bit side pages so uh, we have section about catalog contact home and tip but where are they section oh guys i'm really sorry uh because actually okay building okay this is not a landing page but i don't see a menu where is the menu section okay so this is a website because uh, we can see on the bottom of site pages here we have many buttons such as oh this is just right here we have a burger it calls like a burger yeah uh, so basically i guess that here is a menu yeah and i didn't see it at the first time okay it's not a problem so basically this is a website here we have one two three four five sections so basically uh, the site tool yeah the pages tool is responsible for this page you may simply navigate between the pages you may replace them you have to play around all this thing uh you may change the settings um and first of all you may delete them add them playing around with them so actually due to this mode the user can complete various actions with website pages add new pages um remove existing ones change the order as i have shown you yep adding web page content navigate between them yep fill out needed text you may add some settings you have to change the titles add a seal yep that's how it works and of course all the elements you add to the web pages can be additionally set up so it means that you can change inner block composition choose visual design options the number and format of display elements in the background yep uh, the next one actually is a builder so basically this is drag and drop builder and UK you just can add a bottom simply right here yeah and here we have actually a bottom uh, one new okay where is or okay I would love to add a fixed menu just right here 
I may play around and I may add just a gallery in this way. So basically here we have a gallery. That's how it works. Or if I see it's not good, I may delete it simply. Uh, if I see that I don't like this, what we have, like a car gallery, I may simply delete. Yeah. Okay, the first page. Uh, just wait a second. So actually the bottom that I drag right here, yep, I see that it's not good, so I will delete it. I will delete this element. So um, actually you could use this one of the best visual editors. Yep, uh, if you don't want to, to know what to add, you may just simply look at the structure, the content, all the widgets. If you would like to add a block, you may add a blank block, what you see, how it looks like. Yep, so you may play around with all this stuff. So actually, uh, for me, you get it's impressive because it's possible to start a ready-made website yep, in one or two hours uh, by simply dragging the elements from the control panel to website pages as well as by creating and adjusting the demo um, and actually, you know, um, we create content block positions and in the prevailing amount of cases, you will just have to edit the demo content variety by default, customize colors, fonts, layout, background, everything you have to get the desired result. I'm talking about a design actually right here. We have a color scheme uh, right here. So basically design is responsible for uh, color palette for the side background. We may add if you would like to, we may play with the fonts. So these are the main um, settings uh, which will be just uh, visible uh, if you would like to change them such as color scheme, tag, background in the whole I would say website. Yep, and um, um, actually the design tool lets you uh, change your design yep, of the template uh, you selected by choosing all these uh, settings. Yep, I mean color scheme, background, fonts and um you know you can use a simply color palette and upload image even a google maps as a background so everything is possible right here yep and uh you know you will have to work right here with the widgets of course if you will work uh just right here yep and you need to know what are widgets so these are functional elements that are added to website pages by simply dragging uh as i try to show you for example uh, I drag the text and you can actually fill your text, uh, your personal content. Yep, so there are many of them, including buttons, fixed menus, galleries, uh, separators, cards, um, even a callback order. Yep, so actually you can play around with all this stuff, I would say, yep, and you can also use ready-made block combinations required to complete a certain function such as heater, footer, specification, products, portfolio, and other. And one more thing, um, while working on your website design, you can create a backup version for uh, your project to be able to restore previous one. As soon as you are done with your website customization, you can preview the result before the publication. So this will let you see the details of the website uh, as well as the existing box, some maybe errors, we'll be able to fix them on time and finally click the public button to go on live. So people, this is the end of my reviewing video about Yukid service. To be honest, I really do hope that my videos are very interesting for you and uh, I'm trying to do my best in this sphere and of course in my YouTube channel. So I'm waiting for your comments, I'm waiting for your likes, I'm waiting for your shares and please remember that all the content, content should be in high quality. Images, videos are uh, actually good. Um, good content blocks, I mean text, everything should be quite for understanding and tasty because you need to make your visitor your potential client. And of course, I wish you good luck, I uh, wish you good mood with my YouTube channel, with my video episodes, and of course, uh, with YouTube service. In case of any questions, please write me in comments, and maybe the next video will be about your problem or your question. Uh, so see ya in another video episode. I wish you good mood and bye.